seconds and then it turns off perfect hey everyone blog hack hope here and this is our second part of our midi dmx tutorials where we're going to tie a smoke machine to lumia stream since this is the second part we won't be going back over what we went already went over so make sure you check out our previous video first before you move on to this one let's get started so to begin i have an american dj vf 1600 smoke machine smoke slash fog machine and we're going to be tying that to qlc plus so that lumia stream can trigger it today so just like last tutorial, just make sure loop MIDI is on and it actually has a port that it's listening to before you open QLC plus in Lumia stream. I'm going to open up my last project that I was using with QLC plus and as and I don't think I mentioned in the last video, but you can save your project up here by using save as and then saving it after that. So now that we have our project up, I already have my moving head patched to my universe and it's going from address one to 14. So for my American DJ, I'm going to want to start past 14. So my American DJ actually uses dip switches. So there are tons of tutorials out there to show you how to use dip switches and how to address the right channel. But to keep it simple, I'm just going to be turning on my 16th channel for my smoke machine. And that means it's going to start on 16 rather than starting on 15, which it probably should uh, just to simplify things. So I'm going to go to add fixture and then I'm going to start typing smoke machine. And that's not really my smoke machine, the smoke factory. I don't see American DJ showing up. It shows up on the, there's some that show up on the fog machine, but also these are not my smoke machines because these have like pan and tilt, which mine does not, uh, volume interval duration. I don't think that's it either. You know, these, these don't really match up. So I have two options here. I can either go patch a manual patch from my smoke machine by using the manual from American DJ, or I can just go to the generic tab and look at one of these generic smoke machines and it only has two things pumping which is what sounds like it's what my smoke machine does it just pumps and then it has a fan as well so i'm going to choose generic smoke i can give this a name you know american dj smoke machine and press ok so now just like last tutorial we can test this out immediately we can go to simple desk and you'll see your smoke machine show up here on channel 15 and 16. Oh, that's not correct. Our channel, our fixture is not on 15 and 16. It's on 16. So I'm going to go back to fixtures and put in my address as 16 and then press OK. So now back at simple desk, you'll see on channel 16 and 17. These are my fog machine outputs that I can do. Uh, I don't want to trigger it yet. I want to save for this special effect, especially since, you know, my whole room's going to be fogged and I still got to record. <laughs> So instead of testing this out right here, which you can test out, you're not recording, hopefully. Um, so you can test this out right here. Just move this value up and just, you should see a smoke machine be triggering. Um, but we're going to save it for a second. We're going to let Lumia do the honors. So next up, we got to go back to our functions and we created functions in our last tutorial for our moving head. But we want a function for our fog machine. So I'm going to create a new scene since it is kind of a static effect. And I'm going to create a new fixture here and just tie in American DJ. I'm going to go to my American DJ tab and I'm going to select this value. Now, before I change this, when you move values in the scene, it will actually trigger immediately. So, but you have this option to toggle blind mode where it won't trigger it. And, you know, you'll have to set it up, you know, to what you think it should be set to. So I'm going to turn on this checkbox and turn this up to about like right here. I don't want, I don't want my room going crazy. So around like 50 is fine. And I'm just going to call this fog. So now I have my, oh no, <laughs> I forgot to turn on blind mode. <laughs> and that's what happens when you don't turn on blind mode. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna, oh wow. This is dangerous, <laughs> this is dangerous. All right, so turn on blind mode, put this 255. And now I'm not gonna go back to that scene. Okay, so now I'm going to go to virtual console and make a new button, just like how we did last time. I'm going to call this fog. And I'm going to tie the scene to the fog function. I'm going to choose my universe and then I'm going to choose my input channel. I'm going to have this trigger with, let's say G2, because I know I'm not using that at the moment. And now I just want to toggle this function on and off. So I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to press the play button. Now we're going to go over to Lumia stream. Make sure obviously your MIDI is connected and you have loop MIDI as your port. And next up, we're going to create a chat command. I'm just going to call this MIDI or just smoke. 
I think I do want an animation to trigger. Let's trigger like a rainbow effect or yin yang. And let's have this go for about, let's say I want yin yang to trigger for 10 seconds, but we're not gonna actually have the smoke trigger for 10 seconds. We're gonna only have the tr smoke trigger for about two seconds. And I'll show you how to do that. So now let's go to the MIDI tab and I'm gonna select my port as loop MIDI and then note the sin was G2. So now I'm gonna go to the end tab and I'm gonna trigger this port and I'm gonna say note the sin, which is G2. And I realize there's no delay in this version, but there will be a delay in 6.1.5. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna have my duration for only two seconds. Well, let's say three seconds, three seconds is fine. So now I'm gonna press apply, refresh, and I actually want this tied to a twitch point. So I'm gonna go to the twitch points, I'm gonna press this ellipsis, and then I'm gonna put in smoke to import my command. I'm gonna press click the link, and now I'm gonna refresh and go to my Twitch channel. So now if I open up my channel points, you should see smoke show up. And if I trigger this, it's gonna happen. Let's redeem. my fire alarm. <laughs> this is a funny tutorial. All right, we're back. Sorry for those technical difficulties, but it's a good thing we went through these because now I can show you how to fix it. So back over in QLC plus, we need a way to turn off the fog after it's done. And right now it does not go back to default as like our lights do. So we're gonna go to functions. We're gonna go to fog and I'm actually just going to recreate this. I have my fog machine turned off right now. That's why I don't have to put it in blind mode. <laughs> just so those issues don't happen at the moment. So I'm going to clone fog and I'm just going to call this fog off. So there's a second scene called fog off. Make sure that's at zero. And now I'm going to create a new chaser and I'm going to call this chaser fog, you know, reaction or something like that. Call it whatever I want. So now I'm going to press the plus button and I'm going to first turn on fog and then I'm gonna turn on fog off. I'm gonna turn my run order to a single shot just so it only happens one time and doesn't loop. And I'm also gonna have my per step step duration. So I can set my first one, let's say for 2000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. And then my second one for one second. Okay, so that's our chaser. So now we're gonna go back to virtual console we're gonna select fog and we're gonna select that new chaser for fog reaction. And that's gonna be our reaction. And I have it set to G4 key. So I'm gonna go back to Lumia, press the edit button, MIDI, and I'm gonna edit this, make sure it's on G4 uh, for start. And then for end, I'm gonna to toggle this off. It will turn off automatically actually. So I don't even have to toggle it off. So I'm just gonna do a start state and that's it. And then it would automatically handle itself in QLC plus. So we're gonna test this out while my smoke machine is still unplugged. I'm just gonna go to simple desk and I'm gonna look at my fog portion, press the play button, trigger this, it goes to 255 and then it goes back to zero after two seconds. So perfect, it's working. Uh, and you also see in the virtual console, this, you know, turned off automatically. So uh, I'm gonna do that again. There we go, I didn't press anything. So that's how to turn it on and then turn it off again. Uh, using a chaser. Now we're ready to go and have the final demonstration. So I'm letting my smoke, you know, I'm letting my smoke machine heat up a little bit and prepare the smoke and then we're going to trigger it on our Twitch channel. All right, it's ready to go. Let's try this out. We'll go to Twitch, smoke, redeem. And then it turns off. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> That's how to tie your smoke machine to Lumia stream. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Give us more ideas of how you're going to use it. Or something that I may have messed up on, let me know in the comments below. And we hope you all have a luminous day.